You know, a lot of people told me before treasure hunting that I need an outlet. Well, I just found one. It's the height of the coronavirus uh, pandemic in 2020, and uh, I have not gone treasure hunting in six days. Super massive hyper loop. Go, 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 like the wind. Okay. Like the... Let me try to keep up. That's kind of tough with these fast children. The family time is very nice. I, I enjoy it very much, but there, there is a human instinct to need to move, to go outdoors, to do something, uh, especially something that you love to do. Oh man, I lost them. Oh man, they're fast. I'm fat. My wife is a RN and, uh, you know, she's literally risking her life every day. And you have the responsibility to your family. If you do go outside, you have to do it the right way. Go, 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 go! still here. Accelerate! I have greatly cut back my uh, treasure hunting self-care schedule. That's really what it is. Uh, because it's something, it, it's a process that really makes me happy. And uh, it's, it's what makes me tick. Giving it up is tough. Now, I have to go to the store, I have to pick stuff up uh, for the family, and, you know, what if I followed the same protocols that I do uh, when I do that? Oh, I kind of kept up with them that time. Ow! It's been six days, I have not been out of the house, I'm going crazy. So, you know, it's not like I'm blindly doing this. You know, I brought uh, gloves, I got handy wipes. Uh, that I'm going to put on my hands, my clothes. I, I just jump right in the shower. I do laundry as soon as I get in. So we're talking about not a, you know, nuclear winter shutdown. We're talking about, you know, spacing, uh, six feet between people, you know, yeah, I, I, I will do that. So let's try that. It might be a little more sane. So I chose to go to one of my favorite sites, Dead Horse Bay. It's a, it's a relatively low volume place in the first place, and uh, it was raining. You know, basically, you're not going to see a lot of people at Dead Horse Bay in the first place, but uh, when it's raining in the middle of a pandemic, we're not talking about a lot of people. I could practice my social distancing. There's just one person that I know that is pretty, I'm pretty sure, is going to be there. Well, here we go again. Flowers are coming. I'm telling you, as soon as the flowers come, so do the ticks. Got my boots. Well, the beach looks uh, a bit obliterated. And that's not a bad thing, considering what we're here for. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna pick a spot, start to dig around. And uh, I'm looking for that cluster of oops sorry I just broke a bottle um, yeah so looking for uh, a cluster of objects small objects that are about the size that I want coin size ring size let's see let's see where we can find that I'm getting here when the tides are just uh, receding so we'll see if we could spot a coin See, we got a uh, spoon uh, top, bottom. Uh, that's a whole philosophical question. Is this the top or the bottom of a spoon? Let me know in the comments. Well, just like that, I think I got silver number one. This is a foreign coin. Uh, I definitely can't read the writing, but uh, yep, gonna dig around here some more. For the newbies, keys tell you where coins are. Well, this is an interesting piece. Look at this. It's got like a needle at the top, not like a medical needle, and something like this at the bottom. Uh, maybe uh, somebody could uh, ID it in the comments. You're a lot better at that than me, I admit. And uh, I didn't say it before, but got coin number two. This is like a mad scientist old light bulb. Ugh. Marble. Oh, there you go. Score right there. Okay, that's got to be military. It's a pin. Wow, okay. I think that's... I mean, I see an anchor, so maybe that's Navy. I was going to say it looks Marines. But uh, that's, uh, that's a great 
great piece. Got a nickel. This just missed being a war nickel. I think it says 1946. And I see a buckle right here. So I've got a good spot, gonna dig around. See the lines here that uh, there was a flow of water? You know, being able to read the beach is also uh, very important here. Um, digging can be hit or miss, but often when I dig in these areas, the result is good. Uh, right now, doesn't look like anything. So we look around and we move on. You're always trying to read, you're always trying to look for clues. My clues are small objects. Me too, Adele. I found good stuff too. I got a good one on you. Oh, I got a good one on you. Mm hmm. Yeah, uh huh. Uh huh. What'd you find? What did you find? Keep in mind, I just got here. You okay. What found did you a find? tissue. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> you stupid ass. <laughs> I got this one all down pat. What did you find? Come on, come on, come on. That, I'm, I'm trying. Coins. I'm trying. We're not a, talking surface six, coins. Six pence. Six pence. 1936. Oh, that's excellent. It's uh, British, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, British my balls. What did you find? Look at the pin. Look at the pin and the I silver. I got that. Here, here. I'm going to show you. You know what I think of your shit? What do you think of wait, my shit? Wait, I got to do this. I found this just for you. Wait, let me get this set up. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's what I think of your stuff. <laughs> ah, that's gross. The girls. Stopper. And he has another one. Another stopper. And it's in perfect condition. In perfect condition. Okay. It's and outstanding. then I got, I got bottles and forget how many yeah, kinds you, of bottles. You don't, you don't have a navy pin. I mean, just, just saying. I have a, a perfect condition navy pin I got here. What? And, and I got this. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hi, caramba. Yeah, try to find teeth. Uh, yeah, You're I'm digging a, here? I'm going to pass on the teeth. I started to. I mean, I... What the, time did you get? You just got here. Oh, what, what is this? Oh, what is this? That. It's a ring. It's not what a ring. What part of the grenade you had? You said this over with a fixture. I knew it was some kind of fixture. You don't know that. Oh, kick my ass. It ass. still might explode. Yeah, yeah, look. Here's AAA. I need a ring. Look, look, here. We're here for rings, Adele. Okay, take this AAA sticker with your car. Oh, I've seen... I've found that before here. I'll take that one. You can uh, take it instead of that one. We, we are after rings. No, I'm going to move around. We'll stay here. I'll be right back. All right. We are after rings. See, this looks like a ring. I, I want the real thing. Rings. I need 100 this year. All right. This seems to be a part of another pin uh, back here that I'm going to have to clean up a bit before we figure out what it is. Look at this. It's like an old Batman symbol. Stop wondering if it's gold. No, it's not gold, Meryl, but it's a Batman symbol. Sweet. Clay marble. Egad, I have found a key. That is the great predictor, the great foreseer, that I'm going to find a coin. I was going to say a ring, but uh, yeah, that would be even better. See, never fails. There's your coin. Egad, I found another key. Now I need another coin. Egad, I found another key. So that that's uh ooh and what's this? Little oh zipper chain. Yeah, this is a collection point. Let's uh let's dig around here. I'm going to spend a few extra minutes here. Well, there we go. We got coin 1 and coin 2 and this one is a buffalo nickel. See the buffalo? Sweet. And we keep looking here. This is a good spot. Now, I'm not ignoring small things like this, because last time I thought I had a little button that was, like, worthless. Turned out to be a trine. This is, uh, this is not going to be the same case. But, uh, it's got a little hole in it. That's pretty cool. Doppelganger ring. Hopefully that means that we're going to find a real ring, but, uh, there's so many of these fake ones. Uh, I'm going to leave this for somebody else. Yeah, that leads us to the philosophical question of the day. You saw me just throw that down. Is there such a thing as littering in a garbage dump? Let me know what you think in the comments. 
got a band of some sort. A watch band, probably. Um, I see staining in the upper corner that makes it look like um, it's not gold. Uh, makes it look like brass. But uh, we'll clean it up, we'll see. It's a vintage fishing weight. Yeah, this is a good spot. So how are the teeth? <laughs> You're jealous, see? I pour in bottles like this. Whoa. I got a buffalo nickel. Who cares? I do. I got a whole set of alcohol and teeth. <laughs> <laughs> grills, yo. You. you got grills. I got grills. I got even the metal to fit on the grill. Yeah, yeah. Another gluten-free wheat penny. It's like a cylinder with uh, teeth. Today's a tooth day at Dead Horse Bay. Oh, Adele's not gonna like this one. Adele, you're not gonna like this one. I don't know. Look at the color. Oh, it's good. Oh, it is good. You'll never admit that it's good, but it's good. Yeah, let's see, what is it? Oof, oof, oof. Oh, that's good. Wow, a wow. A dog. Oof. You, you need to whoop yourself up now. Yeah. Come on, find some coins. I'm, I'm working on it. The teeth are laughing. Huh? The teeth. The teeth are laughing? The teeth are laughing. Good. Oh my god, it's like totally Bromo Seltzer. Huh? Find a ring. I'm trying. What is this? I think this is an earring that goes, yeah, like this, and that's a old clip-on earring. Okay, we get a tiny coin here. What the heck? I have found miniature versions of these. In fact, I'll find one again today. I see them every day that I'm here, and I, this is like the big version of this. This is so weird. Was that not the greatest job of modeling for the camera right there? Yeah, here's the big version, which I've never found before. Here's the small version. What the purpose is? Mm, I don't know. Hanging pictures? I, I'm just guessing. I don't know. I thought I had one. Meh. Look at this. It's like a wishbone, but it's like a trigger for a gun. Uh, does that make sense? No, of course it doesn't. Look what Adele found. It's an S word. A sword. Could be sterling. I found a... It's got that color. It does. Yeah, I found a penny. This could be sterling. Sterling. You know, if I had a third child I, and it was a boy, I'd name him Sterling Silver. Just saying. You know, you're driving me to the point I want to start <laughs> I found the letter M for Merrill. Unless it's a letter W. For what? Oh my god, look at what this jerk found. Jerk! 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 Listen, you <sighs> make a poop, you should have found it. What is it? You keep cutting me. That's gold right there. That looks like an award. Oh my god, it's heavy. Yeah, right. She ends. Uh, uh, it, lo it looks. Uh, it looks goldy. Looks goldy. Well done. Excellent. I'm beating you today again. For the first time now, yes. <laughs> Better than your poop. Well, I, I don't know. It's not a Morgan dollar, so I think I could. Uh, I think oh, I could rally that, back. That was good. That really was. That was good. I didn't look, look, look right in front of you, Meryl. Cause you yell at me when I pick up stuff in your spot. Everything is your spot. All right, here, here. I didn't do this. Okay, I'm gonna go over. I was down gonna there. go down there. What? I was gonna go down there. Oh, oh what a pleasure. <laughs> She wants me to follow her down the beach. No, 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 no. Look, it's like a super bird. Or it could be a coincidental piece of metal. You hope now, now, no, I. What are you talking about? I'm always happy for you when you get good stuff. Hold on, what's that? Oh, I thought I had a ring. No, I didn't have a ring. I see roundness and. Oh God, you're hallucinating. It's called hopefulness. It's called hopefulness. Yeah, that, that, that's uh. That's what. It I, could be a bird, could be scrap metal. I don't know. This is a uh, odd piece of uh, pewter. It's 
got some writing on it. Kilt I, button. I, I, quiet now because the clams and the crabs ain't out yet. Yeah, I got, I got a penny. Wait, wait, wait till the, the tide goes really out in the summer and uh, and, uh, and and the crabs are showing under the rocks. Yep, yeah, here we go. Look at this. Two more. What you got? Two more pennies and uh, two more fake rings. Doppelganger. Here we go. Mercury dime. Might have two mercury dimes. Sweet, plus this uh, thing up here, which might just be part of a fork. But, um, you know, we'll clean it up. We'll see. Got a doppelganger. Adele a found headless? something that's headless. Penny. Got another penny. No sign of rings. I'm happy with what I got. Don't get me wrong, but oh man, that would be spectacular. Is this a penny? Nope, not a penny. Well, this is a nifty uh, piece of something. It might even be uh, gold plated pewter or gold painted. Look at the triangle at the bottom. Interesting. All right, it is time for the drop the mic signal. We got one more good signal. Yeah, I did it again. I said signal. Uh, I'm mudlarking. There's no signals. There, there's eyesight. And then I'm going to try, and I repeat, try to get out of here for uh, uh, for dinner time. Oh, I just saw this, and I like dove down to the floor. It is not uh, meh. This might be it. We got a big coin right here. This is gonna take some serious electrolysis, but uh, it, it looks like we got a big copper coin. You see the little green right down there. So uh, that, uh, that could be it. But I'm telling you, that just put the air back in the sails. In other words, they have 2040 vision. This is uh, one of those uh, Shell President coins and I stopped cleaning it once I realized I found a million of these and uh, these are uh, these are nice turned out to be James Madison okay this is pretty sweet this is something with uh, writing on it that uh, we're gonna have to clean up after uh, cleaning this very very carefully I was disappointed to find out that it is the end of a piece of silverware and not silver either so like the top of a fork or knife or spoon Got another coin. Same spot, yet another coin. Same spot, the coins keep coming. Spooky, spooky lipstick case with the lipstick popping out. Wow. And this is a, uh, whatchamacallit, a, um, a watch back that's been split. You see the little uh, circle in there that was cut? There we go, found another penny. And uh, this is another mystery coin right here. And do I see another? Thought I did. No, I don't. But this is, uh, that's pretty sweet. See, I knew I saw one. I, I did find another um, penny. And right by it was this. It fits a finger. But uh, you see the, uh, the uh, whatchamacallit, the grooves in it. Something that's meant to be screwed. So at that given moment in time, I was still hyper fixated on getting rings, but uh, it made me miss uh, another really good find, which was this coin. And I'm taking my time cleaning it. Uh, it's it's still uh, unidentified. So stay tuned for this one. Uh, I will uh, give you an update on my Facebook page. Yeah, I think I think it's exactly that. Adele just found this big button. So I might see some guilt down right? here. Yeah. Tumble it. All right, drop the mic. We got it. Look at this. This one right over here. That is an unrecognizable coin. Could be foreign. Look at the patina. I know it's very glary right now, but it's uh, it's very, very light. Uh, I'm sorry, very, very dark. And I can't really make out what it is. Yeah, I can't wait to figure out what it is. Got to go home and find that out. I love finding large scents, but that was the find of the night. Take a look at it. Could that be my gold coin? It's not pure gold, I know, uh, because of the uh, oxidation that's happening on the top. But uh, look at the color of it. Uh, I'm going to have to research it further, uh, but uh, here's some close-ups. 
uh, maybe, uh, again, I, I look to you guys for help uh, in a lot of cases. So if somebody recognizes this, knows what it is, uh, I'm very curious. Another silver. I think this is a uh, Mercury dime. I'm leaving. <laughs> trying to. This is a good problem I'm running into. Boom shakalaka, drop the mic. This is a piece of gold. There we go. No wonder I stuck around. It's very tiny. Uh, might be part of a watch. But uh, this, is, uh, this is clearly gold. All right, two points. One, I got a whole collection of these. Two, meh. Adele just ditched me because she's not as hardcore. Clearly. Ugh. Part of a chain. I'm walking towards the exit, but my eye is focused for something that looks like a ring. Or a coin. Or something good. That's nothing. Keep walking. See, the beach is not done giving. Look at this. Look at that. That is a sweet button. I could only imagine what that says. Another doppelganger. But look at how the light illuminates the floor. This is full blast. I'm still walking towards the exit, but I, I am looking very closely. Nobody saw me trip there. Nobody. Do not put that in the comments that you saw me trip. No way. No how. Look at the luster of that. Could it be gold? I don't know. Too early to say. I mean, this illuminates. You remember the coin <laughs> the other day? And I was like, I found a gold coin. We don't know until we get home. All right, I mean it this time. I am not looking down. I am just walking. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to go home. So let me walk. Adele, why didn't you tell me it's going to pour nincompoop? All right, let's do some... Uh, Tumbling and electrolysis. Found a nice button. I found a nice button. No ring though. Where's the garbage? I gotta throw my gloves out. Oh, there's one. Okay. No, 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 no. They did germs and stuff, so. Yeah, I, yeah rubber gloves. <laughs> I know. I know. Air high five. You ready? One, two, three. Psh. Look at this. Like a well-oiled machine. I got my wipes wiping down my hands. That's the most important thing. Bubble, bubble. There we go. And I got a bag to dispose of it. There we go. So the coronavirus has taught me how much I need detecting in my life, uh, detecting or mudlarking, treasure hunting. It's my outlet. It's good for me. I, I have to balance that with uh, the needs of the public, the needs of my family. And I've decided, you know, I can't go out every day. You know, that would be reckless. But if I'm going to a place that is isolated, you know, it and Dead Horse Bay, it's really a place that the most I've seen there may be 20 people, you know, we're talking midsummer. Uh, yesterday it was pretty much just me and Adele. That's it. And, you know, there were a few times that I caught myself passing what I found over and vice versa. We just have to cap that for the time being. And, uh, you know, it, it just keep in mind that the future is coming and uh, that, you know, this will be over soon enough. But, um, you know, that was the hunt today. You know, I did it with mixed emotions. I kind of felt like I broke a little bit, you know, but you need things in your life. And it's illustrated to me how much I need this. So uh, I plan to do it, uh, you know, very carefully. Thanks for watching, everybody.